Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is an eternal evolution video. Guys, it's happening. It's the end of the week. I want to show you where I've got to on my ancient altar. So I'm almost exactly two months into playing the game, totally free to play. And um, ancient altar is going to be one of those places where you get a lot of your limited tickets from. Yeah, people are asking me on a free to play, how are you getting so much? Every week, smack this at the end of the week. Yeah, you get stronger every single day. When you're playing eternal evolution it's an idle game you gain strength every day yeah so you want to make sure you're hitting the ancient altar towards the end of the week i'm going to show you my squads i'm going to show you how i'm doing a couple of months in just quickly before we do it twilight lands is coming towards the end as well this is like hard content this really is tough it shows it's a real like benchmark for where are you progressing to so i'm up to the forest of greed here two of ten and honestly, now I'm like progressing maybe one stage a day. Whereas, you know, I was doing like four or five in seven. And I was actually smacking a lot of the early stuff just easily. So kind of shows you, you know, this is definitely the end game content in, in the game. And uh, I've been really enjoying it, actually. I feel like it's a really fun kind of area to get involved with. By the way, if you're watching for the first time and want to download and get involved, my link will be down below. There's also a link to a load of promo codes, my Discord. And you can come and get involved. It's a really cool game. So, Ancient Altar then. Let's hit this. Ooh. Last week, I actually, for the first time, I 2 keyed hard. So we're going to start with hard. I'm going to show you the team. My aim is 2 key hard, 1 key normal, and then 2 key the first level of hell. That's what I was able to do last week. So you actually get, you kill the boss, and that's what a 2 key means then you get all of the rewards for the final challenge times two. Yeah, if you, same sort of thing here. If I kill the boss, I get it times two. And then if I can just get into here, then we get more limited tickets and we get some gear as well. The gear is really cool in this dungeon. It's actually gear that you can't get anywhere else. And obviously the summons and stuff that you get on the back of it are really cool as well. Now, there's three bosses that we're fighting here. Ultimately, you want to take down the final boss, but there's two bosses before that. I'm going to start with the second boss because this is the most important boss to kill if you're trying to get decent damage on the final boss. Yeah, the first boss is a nice to have. The second boss is actually really crucial. This is the team that I used last week. Let me move myself over a touch so you can see what's going on. This is the team that I used last week. A decreased defense vanguard champion up front. I've got AoE damage in Sorietta. She just does a lot of damage for me. I've got a healer. I've got Kalaza as a summoner. And then I had um, Senway using the new summoner dude. I didn't have Daniel last week. And this, this team did well. And I'm just thinking, like, Daniel is so damn crazy that maybe I switch it like this, take Sorietta out of the mix. Sorietta was one of my best damage dealers for the group. It's either that or Kalaza uh, comes out. Maybe it's Kalaza comes out, actually, because my Sorietta is just a lot stronger than my Kalaza. We'll try it with Kalaza first, because it means I'll be able to put a better champion in the final team. And ultimately, you want to be moving towards teams that are, are going to kind of be your end game setup. But we've got drop defense on the boss, and then basically a lot of damage coming in here. The summon heroes basically enable you to get, get the tankage done without tanking the hits yourself. Then I've got this. Uh, in fact, I've got a better one now than last week. So I've got myself a, what's this guy called? Enlighten with Daniel uh, upgrades, which is cool as well. Just have to look where you should be positioning people. So I've got more health on the front. We've got some more uh, crit damage on the back row. Hunter one's irrelevant to me. Okay, so this is the squad that we're going to try. Team one. I've gone for basically Leo. The rest of this team is a, like a bit part nothing. Leo does a lot of damage. It's a less important team, but you're looking to hit multiple targets here. And then I heal him. That's, that's like the main setup for this. I've got Gautier on here. And he's given me some stats, but he's also enabling Leo to, uh, to proc pain rune shieldage. Yeah, and that's the main reason that he's in there. So that's where some of his damage comes from. I'm thinking now, though, that Sorietta does come in this squad. 
she might stay alive a bit longer. One of the worst things for my team here is that I just don't stay alive long enough. But once we've done that, we then move on to team three. So team three, I've got no tank. It's important to know that. No tank. My Serena with X, uh, X talent, whatever it's called, 20, is my tank. And then we've got Rez buffing Taylor for a lot of damage. We've got my Nagrama here, does a lot of damage. And then I've got a drop defense uh, bot. Can't remember all the names. Botmark. Botmark, who actually made a massive difference to this team for me. As long as I take the shield out here, this team will do phenomenal damage. So that's what we're looking at. Let's get it going. So here we go. Hard. Doing it first. This guy hits for nasty amounts of damage. The shield from Masrani is actually crucial to keep people alive. But already, look at that. Emma's gone down already. Emma may as well not have been in the squad. She did 500k damage. Then she took a dive. My Emma is weeks or so. So maybe that's something that I should just switch out for future hits. So when Leo does his AoE smack, see everyone's just dropping down here. They don't care. They're literally not in the game. They can't stay alive. I don't know. I don't know what I need to do, but they cannot stay alive. And it comes down to just how much can Leo solo, basically. That's what this fight is for me. Uh, I've seen other people literally just run Leo. It's just a solo Leo run because he's so bonkers with his lifesteal, with his spin. So just Leo now versus the boss. Sometimes it, it, maybe it's better to just have Leo because, you know, like the tank there tanking up ads means Leo's not taking as many hits, means he doesn't get as many spins in. And you're basically looking for as many spins as you can get. So it might straight up be better me just running Leo for this fight. I think it probably is, which is nuts. Anyway, we got very little work done. So we, we managed to reduce the AoE of the final boss by a small amount. So here we go then with the kind of summoner fight. First time I've had Daniel in the mix. My Senway has honestly been kicking out tons of damage in other content. So I'm interested to see how he does here. Starting to pick it up now. Daniel doing a lot of work though, a lot of damage. As I say, I normally would have Sorietta in this team. You see here my Kalaz is not doing that much. I do have the drop defense coming on from uh, my Artus in the front line here. Getting that drop defense out enables the, the higher levels of damage it is possible to, to solo parts of this fight i don't feel like i'd necessarily get a, like a massive damage spike from soloing we're not going to completely take down this boss so i don't know if i did last week did i totally take it down probably not just what level of shield i can get it down to on normal i do i totally take the boss out But you want to get down as many levels of this shieldage as you can because it reduces the shield for the final boss. Just wondering if Sorietta gave me more damage here. Palazzo's damage is pretty low. Daniel definitely doing work. Senway definitely doing work. These two are keepers in the squad for sure. I feel like Palazzo maybe is not. But we've got down to times four. I'll see how this looks on the final boss. I might do a complete do-over. That's what's quite cool in, in this fight. You can just do a retry. You don't lose your, your ticket. If you feel like it's not quite working for you, you want to try some different strats, and you can. This is a once-a-week thing, and it is worth kind of putting in the effort to get the team in a good spot. So we've got a drop defense coming in again from Botmark here. You want to try and make sure that you're not ulting into this shield if the shield didn't get cleared on, on second boss. As I say, last week I two keyed it, so I was doing. Am I fighting? Am I fighting hard here, or am I fighting hell? This is what's confusing me right now. That's a very big pool of health. Can I see? Can I see what I'm fighting? I've got a feeling I'm fighting hell. <laughs> I think so. I think so, because that's a massive health pool. We shall see. We shall see. That's def we're definitely not doing the damage that I'm expecting to see if I was fighting hard. So I think I'm fighting hell right now. 
In which case, this is not a bad amount of damage. Yeah, we're starting to lose people. This has got to be hell. Okay, we fought hell straight away. I was going to lead up to hell. We're doing it first hits. Serena here just healing herself. She thinks the team's alive behind her. They're all dead. They've all died. It does give me a bit more confidence though. I was thinking, God, my team are not doing as well as I thought they would. But actually, we've done okay. 5.5 mil against, which I believe is hell. New record damage. Yeah, here we go. 5.5 mil. So that actually gives me into the level two challenge rewards. And in terms of milestones, it's what you want to be looking at. Milestones. I've just creeped over the first one. So with that level of damage, it would take me a four key to get into this, this um, level two. That's only good, really, if, I was, if the boss was dying. Yeah, so I want to be taking hard down because I get, if I kill hard, I get double rewards. So just kind of bear that in mind. We're going for, back for hard. Okay. I'm going to try those same squads against hard. I think it saved it all. Is it worth taking Emma out of the mix here? I honestly don't know who I would take her out for. I don't, uh, maybe my ravine is better. Okay. So I'm hoping to do enough damage to two key hard with this squad. Once I've done a, a run, I'll show you the build so you can kind of get a feel for how I'm building these different champs. Now we're starting to see some damage coming in. Sorry, it's actually doing some work. We still do lose our back line pretty damn quick, but not as quick. So we get a bit of value out of the back line now against hard. And so I, I first downed hard last week. So I've been playing for five weeks when I first downed it. And this is definitely a big test for your teams. Like if you can take down ancient altar at reasonable levels, then you are starting to do some good work. You're getting some good upgrades for your account. This is more like it. Sorietta doing good damage here. Staying alive for a much longer time, but still going down. And it's still down to Leo to do the kind of final burst of work. Honestly, Oisa here might just be completely a waste of space for me. I might just not need that tank at all. I might be better just having another damage deal. In fact, let's do a redo. Still on hard. Taking her out completely going to go with an extra damage dealer i think this is going to be better because leo once leo's on his own he does a lot of work anyway i'm not really needing to tank up ads now oh, emma's coming in with some damage yeah this is good okay she will go down quite quick that doesn't really matter but i'd rather leo was tanking all of the ads that way he gets to his spin quicker we do more damage faster with his spin, he basically heals to full anyway. So Emma's done a 1.8 mil so far versus you know my Oisa that was really doing nothing. I don't know if we're going to down the boss, but we're going to do a decent amount of damage to it. Considering this is my my squad really that doesn't need to win, it's pretty useful. In fact, Emma stayed alive longer than I thought she would. times two if we could just we might be able to down this boss completely actually which would be big for the final fight it means that we just won't have as much damage coming at us come on leo spin to win let's go down to its last shield 20 seconds i think we do we take this boss totally down emma stayed alive for ages good effort leo can you do it can you get there so little health left i don't think we get there Oh, man, it's close, though. That's really close. Okay, that's the best I've done. So it means that the boss's final AoE blast is massively reduced. On to boss two, then. Now we should start to see some real decent damage numbers here. Once, people, once we get our clones kind of coming up, our summons. I'm surprised Daniel... So I, don't, I haven't summoned for Daniel yet. That's coming in a couple of days. When my events switch over, and I'm surprised he's already doing this level of damage, honestly. It's kind of crazy. Definitely one worth getting. If, you, if you're like you know, unsure whether he's someone that you should be in the mix for, I think you should. Mine at the moment is a pretty low evolution level, 
and he's already doing a huge amount of damage. He's also buffing the damage of my other summoners here. Look at Semway's work. Semway is doing absolute colossal amounts of work here. Got 30 seconds left to try and smash through 6 million worth of damage. I think we do. Look at that. Semway's exploding into him right now. Yeah, easy. Easy, like, takedown there. Which means there's no shield on the final boss. It's huge. If you can build a team that can take down that second boss, it's massive now for this final, sh uh, final fight. So we're up against a 54 million health bar. He's got no shields coming in at all. It means I do constant damage. It's huge, actually. Constant damage to him. It means my tailor in the back line here is just going to be doing work. Bot Mark's given us our drop defense, which means my tailor does more damage. Rez is buffing Taylor so that Taylor gets his ult off more often. It's basically, the full setup is to make Taylor do a lot of damage. Uh, and when the drama does a decent amount as well. We're tanking through the damage. Because that first boss, uh, we took him down just, just that level one. We're really not taking a lot of damage from the AoEs. Means my Serena can heal my team up to full comfortably. We might even one-shot this boss. Which would be massively the best I've done. Like, I, as I said, I two-shot it last week. Question is, if I do one-shot him, what do I do? Four keys. I, I think I still take normal down. I think I still one-shot normal and then foul the rest of my keys into hard, uh, into health. But that might actually not be the right call. I'll have to look at it. We've over... Half health him by a comfortable amount right now. Still taking minimal damage on my team. This might be close, you know. Look at Taylor's damage. 23 million right now. He's an epic. He's not even an SSS hero. He's an epic. Go on, team. This is yours. Botmark was probably one of the heroes that I've been sleeping on the most, honestly. He's the one now that I'm trying to focus on to level out, to try and evolve more. Just such a good hero and a lot of content. 8.8 .8 million left to go. 50 seconds. I think we've got this. Massive gain since last week. Literally double the damage of last week with the gains that I've made. Damn, that's huge. One shot? Hard. We'll take that. We'll take it. Nice. Damn, I did not expect that at all. Huge, huge damage. Okay. So we'll get some rewards here and now. We're going to get some achievements, which you kind of pick up along the way as well. So I'm basically on just the hell achievements now. That's all I've got left to do. But make sure you're picking these up. This is a really... Valuable resource. Mythic runes are very hard to get. Obviously, you get yourself some summons and that as well. Beautiful. So I've got three tickets left. I can definitely one-shot this, which means I get double rewards from here. Three to four tickets times two is obviously six tickets. Whereas if I get to here, I'm gaining like a couple of tickets. It's definitely better for me still to take out normal and then plow the rest into... Uh, hell when I, when I do it later on so let me show you some builds quick then before we end today's video how am I doing it Leo is pretty much solo in the first boss as you saw he is in all attack all out attack by Leo yeah that's what we've gone for attack set all out attack gear that's what I'm looking for even rolls on this stuff I'm looking for attack percent rolls if I can't find that then I'm looking for things like damage resistance a uh, damage reduction sorry like this uh, the other people in the team that were helping him along, Mizrani has got basically a healing set, and then I'm looking for HP. So I do have HP percent on all of the bottom row. I'm looking for an HP percent in the HP set to finish him off. Uh, I'm also looking for things like damage reduction and extra HP on the set as well. Uh, my Sorietta was in that first team as well. Not really perfect for that first team, but not bad. Basically looking at 
trying to punch towards 60% crit rate, 60 crit damage, and then plenty of attack. And you can see it's like a, a blend of crit damage, crit rate, and attack in sets. Any of those kind of work if they got the right stats. Crit rate or crit damage here, depending on what you find here, then looking to, to bolster up the other numbers. But attack percent, attack percent, it's quite a standard DPS build. My Emma is actually, it's gear that I want to improve. I also need to evolve her more. But she has got this gluttonous set. So it gives me basically my ult more often. Uh, it also gives me attack damage increase as well. I've gone attack percent, attack percent, attack percent on her. Obviously, these boots are not meant to be there. And I would like to get an attack set if I could make it work in the future. Uh, let's go on to team two then. So we've got Daniel as my summoner dude doing a ton of work. I've basically gone for him in attack percent, attack percent, attack percent. Might have better boots than this now, but what I've tried him in this, um, what's this called? Light gap set. So giving me energy. Basically, I want him to do his summons as often as possible. I don't know if that's the right set, honestly, but it felt like it was pretty solid. His, um, his summons do gain Daniel's attack and defense. And then they gain HP equal to a percentage of his attack. So I've gone for the attack percent to try and boost those numbers. But I've gone for the light gap to try and get my summons as often as I can. Uh, comment below, what are you doing with your Daniel? We've then got Senway, who honestly, this dude is big. I got him to Immortal through one of the events, the Rift event, which is cool. So I've got him at... Basically, we've punched attack percent everywhere on him because his summon benefits from attack. Doesn't benefit from crit rate, crit damage. Uh, I do have an exclusive 20 as well. Uh, who else is in that second team? My Kalaza is uh, not really built that well at the moment. Kalaza has got crit rate, attack percent, attack percent. Gone for that same sort of normal DPS build. Crit rate, crit damage, and attack. But needs improved gear, really. Also need to improve his Evo state. Um, was in that second team my healer similar to my Maserani basically just got uh HP percent wherever possible I don't have another good healing set for her yet and let's move on to my final team then so we've got Serena who is my tank she tanks a lot of content for me she tanks my Disa caves obviously that ancient altar boss she she sometimes front lines for me in um levels if I'm struggling to get through it in campaign so you just got a lot of HP, 820k. Got with HP everywhere and healing set. Same sort of thing, really, as Mizrani. Uh, my Taylor, who's pumping out the damage, Evo 20. He has got the same sort of build as my Sorietta, really. Crit rate, crit damage, and attack. Uh, same sort of blend, same sort of numbers. Does a ton of work, honestly. So much work. Uh, we've then got in that final team my Nagrama. So he has got the same type of builders as we've just seen there with my Taylor. Honestly, maybe got slightly better gear than my Taylor. So I might need to be switching things around a bit, but uh, I can play around with that. And Rez. Rez was the other one in that squad who basically has got this light set as well, similar to what I've got with Daniel. So he does his ult more often. Uh, other than that, we've just got defense and HP. Probably should go more HP than defense, but damage reduction boots. I just want him to be a tank, stay alive, and buff my damage dealer as often as I can. So there you go, guys. That's the Ancient Altar. We've one shot hard. We're starting to take on hell. Good luck with yours. I've been Hell Hades. I'll see you later.